What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Vince Warburton and this is VEW Fitness. I do fitness tech supplement reviews and lifestyle videos every single week. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe and bell for notifications. Now today is a very exciting supplement review as you guys clicked on it or you guys see the title. We are talking about the Ghost Lifestyle Legend pre-workout max tuning collab strawberry daiquiri flavor. Now I've talked about the Ghost Legend pre-workout before, especially the Sonic Cherry Limeade. I did a video on that. You guys can hit the link up here, the link down in the description. And basically I'll just start off that this pre-workout is exactly the same in terms of the ingredients and whatnot. Really the biggest difference here is the flavoring. The price is the same, um, all those sort of things. So in my original review, when I reviewed this, this was actually right when I first started doing kind of supplement reviews. So I never really kind of rated everything. I didn't really go through it like I do now. And so I figured I would go through this label. I'm not gonna take you through a full workout. I think I've talked about the effects enough uh, of this. All right, so let's just jump right into this, guys. Uh, first off, this review is completely unpaid, unbiased, and uh, unscripted, essentially. They did not send this to me for free. I bought this with my own money, so there's pretty much no bias here, other than the fact that you could call me a ghost fanboy if you'd like, but uh, I do like ghost products. I'll just fully say that. I've been disappointed by one of their products, the Ghost Chips Ahoy V1, but overall, all in all, uh, Ghost to me is, is a good brand. Uh, I like what they do. I like their social media, um, et cetera, et cetera. As you guys may or may not know, we like to break down the supplement review into three different parts. We talk about number one, price, two, the label ingredient breakdown, and then lastly, we talk about the taste. Taste is probably the more important thing here, even though it's a pre-workout. You know, when it comes to flavorings and stuff, Ghost, I think, really crushes it. So we'll kind of see how this turns out. I don't really know what to expect. I did not ever try the Max Tuning uh, Mango Margarita. I just never got around to getting it. By the time it did come out, I unfortunately missed the mark and uh, it was sold out. So this time we did pick up both, but today we're just gonna talk about the strawberry daiquiri flavor. So let's get right into it, guys. Price, this comes in at $44.99. This is 30 full servings, okay? So that price breakdown is roughly $1.50 a serving. With that being said, guys, it's not a terrible price point. When it sits at $1.50, it's gonna get a score of four out of five. Obviously, five out of five is gonna be less than $1.50. It's kind of in that range, closer to a dollar. It's gonna be five out of five. So in my original review, I never scored it of the Sonic Cherry Limeade. So in today's, you know, we're gonna give it a score of four out of five. You know, there are some, some coupons out there. You guys can probably find them and uh, you can save yourself 20%. Now, the one thing with Ghost I'm not a huge fan of, and I'll just kind of disclose this so you guys don't go to the website and then you're like, whoa, 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 is you do have to pay for shipping. So as much as you might find a 20% off coupon, which like I said, there are plenty, it, you, you don't really save because you're having to pay for shipping, which I understand shipping costs, like I really do, but it's just one of those things when you have companies like major corporations like Amazon out there, and it's all like free two day shipping, or you, you know, you pay, pay whatever it is, the, the yearly fee for Amazon Prime. I just, it, it's very interesting to me that companies still charge for shipping. I just wish that if you if you made a basket over, you know, $50 or over $100, you got that free shipping. So then you're not really, you know, increasing that price point. But you know, overall, it's still it's still one of my favorite brands. Uh, and I'm glad that we got our hands on it and I'm excited to do the rest of this review. So let's jump right into the label, guys. We have a 12 gram scoop. Yeah, let's just jump right into it. We start out with four grams of L-citrulline. I said this in my original review. I think that's a little low, especially as we've gone through a lot more pre-workouts over the last few months. I think it's a little low. It's not like terribly low. I wish it was six grams. It's still not terrible. And um, yeah, that's kind of it. I mean, I do supplement citrulline on the side every single day, so I'm not as concerned, but you guys may, maybe. Yeah, moving right along, we have two grams of beta alanine. This is underdosed. I think it should be 3.2. I do get beta alanine tingles, though, when I take the, uh, you know, Sonic Cherry Limeade. I've gotten them before. So, you know, that's not to say that, but labels are labels, and, you know, sometimes there might be a little bit more or a little bit less. You know, you just don't really know. That's the interesting thing about supplements. I don't want to go on a tangent here, but yeah, just, yeah. Weird thing. So two grams, not great. I, I wish there was 3.2, but moving right along, 500 milligrams of agmatine sulfate. I think that's a good dose. All right, then we have 150 milligrams of the Vaso Drive AP, which is one ingredient that is different from this pre-workout to the Sonic Cherry Limeade. 
Uh, I'm not too sure about the other Legend uh, pre-workouts, but that is different. It's a pump product. And then we have 100 milligrams of the Norvaline, uh, which is kind of low, I'll be honest. Moving right along, we have one gram of taurine. I think that's a good amount considering how much caffeine, which we'll jump right into, is uh, 202 milligrams of caffeine, which includes 165 milligrams of caffeine and hydrous, and then uh, basically 50 milligrams of the di-caffeine mallet, which is delivering another 37 milligrams of caffeine, kind of that extended release uh, caffeine. And 202 is low. You know, as you guys know, like I'm kind of a stim junkie. I've been taking a lot of pre-workout for the last year, I would say, pretty consistently. Um, I really haven't taken a break. So 200 milligrams is, is kind of low, 202. Uh, I like to see about 300, but you know, that's kind of one of those personal preferences. Uh, moving right along, we have uh, 150 milligrams of the Alpha GPC. I think that's a little bit low. I, you know, I would have liked to see a little bit more. And then, you know, these last five ingredients here are pretty much all similar in, in terms of they're all nootropics, all gonna give us mental clarity. They're all gonna help basically eliminate, try to eliminate some of the crash effects of taking a lot of stimulants. But yeah, basically we have 50 milligrams of the rhodiola root extract, 50 milligrams of the theobromine, 50 milligrams of the olive leaf extract, 2.5 milligrams of the NADH 10%, and then one milligram of the raw wolfia extract and again you know those numbers are not great i would have liked to see a little bit more now what's interesting is this actually asks to do one scoop one serving uh every day i could see potential to take two scoops of this or maybe one and a half and that's right around those perfect doses i said this in my last pre-workout review of the david Lade's euphoria is that i felt like they almost cut it in half with the intention of you doing two scoops, but then put that on the label. They did the same thing here. It says, do not exceed two scoops per day, and then start with less than one scoop to assess your tolerance, et cetera, et cetera. So I feel like, obviously I've said this before, you can do whatever you wanna do. You can take as many scoops as you want, but I think when you're following a label and you're following the instructions, the way it's meant to be taken, I, I think you could honestly get away with taking one and a half to two scoops. It's not gonna kill you. Obviously check with your physician, with your doctor before you take any supplement just disclose that but uh yeah in terms of the label guys i you know i think it's a three out of five it's not anything really special um i said this about the ghost cgv3 incredible label fully dosed massive scoop size ton of actives you know i wish they would somewhat do that with max's pre-workout I don't know why it's not like its own pre-workout. Uh, it it kind of confuses me because he's one of their bigger influencers, I think. You know, they have a pretty big team of athletes and, and sponsored people, but this is obviously the second person that they've worked with after Christian. And I just felt like, you know, they could have tailored it a little bit more, made it more custom, maybe added more actives, talked to Max and, and seen what he wants. Uh, as a power lifter, I'm sure it's a little bit different compared to like a bodybuilder or someone that's like cutting, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, if you guys know, you know, you guys can check out his channel and learn a little, little bit more about him. But overall guys, I, you know, three out of five in terms of the label. And yeah, let's jump right into the taste. Like I said, I've never tried either of his pre-workouts. Uh, we are gonna do the strawberry daiquiri. It recommends six to eight ounces. Today we are doing eight ounces because I mean, guys, that's just not a lot of water. Never been opened, give this a nice good shake. Now, idea with Ghost and whew, this one is actually there. Most of the time, I'd say 90% of the time, I love what they do. It's something so dumb and I've said this before about Ghost products is they literally put the scooper right in the top lid so you don't have to go hunting for it not obviously the worst problem to have when you have to go find it but yeah it's a nice nice little touch so we are going to do one scoop today guys we have a chest day today like i said i'm not going to take you through the workout i've got a ton to do today and uh, i know that this review is important to a lot of you and you want to see it so um the powder of this is actually a little bit lighter i would say than than the previous i mean this is a little bit thicker i would say maybe maybe the the flavoring system is a little different colors obviously going to be you know reddish pink kind of flavor we have our official vw fitness shaker cup give this a nice good shake I, I pretty much say this about most ghost products is the mixability and the flavors is really what i think they excel on what they really work hard on is making sure that you know, the flavor profile is right on the money. You know, the Sonic Cherry Limeade collab, amazing. Tastes just like Sonic Cherry Limeade, strawberry daiquiri. We'll see, mixability, 
definitely solid. Very little sediment on the very bottom here. Mixes very well. Cheers. Okay. It definitely has a strawberry flavor. Kind of a strawberry tropical fruit flavor, I would say, more than anything. I'd say that this is kind of missing the mark in terms of tasting like a strawberry DAC. Obviously, there's no alcohol in this. Obviously, it's kind of one of those weird flavors. I don't know if it's more just the name and like kind of Max's style and, you know, the mango margarita and, uh, you know, the strawberry daiquiri, you know, that sort of thing. And it's kind of more of like a play on words and, and the play on flavor. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. The flavor is good. It tastes very good. Um, I like it. It Does it taste like strawberry daiquiri? In my honest opinion, no. It does not. It doesn't even taste like the pre-mixed stuff. But again, I'm not like an expert in strawberry daiquiris. Maybe the mango margarita I might be better at because I drink a decent amount of margaritas. Yeah, it just kind of has like this heavy strawberry tropical flavor is what I'd say. Not overly sweet. I'd say it's it's got a sweeter profile. It's not sour by any means. I'll definitely slam the rest of this back. I'm gonna go hit a big chest workout. All right guys, so in terms of the effects of this pre-workout, I will say that honestly for me personally, because I'm so high in that stim, uh, level that this is kind of one of the lower end stim junky kind of pre-workouts. I think this is a great pre-workout for someone that's entry level to pre-workouts. I think that the marketing behind this, it's not just tailored towards like gym goers and bodybuilders and the fitness enthusiasts. It's the weekend warriors. It's the EDM concert goers. It's people that go to school, whatever you want to do. I mean, you can see it right here on the label, fitness, sport, work, study, party. Okay. So this is almost sold as a all in all, anyone can take it, and, and I like that. I, I think it's kind of a fun idea that you're not just limiting yourself to fitness enthusiasts or you know the weekend warrior that's you know doing a tough mutter, that sort of thing. I think it's kind of cool that it's tailored kind of for anybody. And so that's potentially could be why, why a lot of these actives are not extremely fully dosed and it's kind of cut in half or maybe a couple of grams less or you know a few hundred milligrams less than what you would typically see because if it's someone that's a party goer and using this as like a as a you know pre-party kind of drink uh you know an energy drink you don't need all the beta alanine you don't need all that citrulline necessarily you don't need all those sort of things so definitely an interesting pre-workout guys in terms of flavor i still give it a four out of five i think it missed the mark in terms of tasting like a strawberry daiquiri, but it still tastes great. I would highly recommend it. Make sure you go check out their website, guys, www.ghostlifestyle.com. And as you guys know, we are in Vlogmas. Okay, so we're gonna get a video tomorrow, guys. I'm very excited for that. Also, if you have not picked up your official VW Fitness Shaker Cup, make sure you guys do. You can check those out at www.vwfitness.club. Head on over there, guys, hit the shop button. You can select your color, white or blue. And uh, obviously, I really appreciate you guys snagging those up. Super exciting stuff, guys. Super exciting stuff. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this review, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe and bell for notifications. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.